All right, you're on. Okay, we'll start off with the electric panel. The electric panel, as you can see, is labeled. You got your lighting circuits and everything else is marked. It's in good condition. You've got copper wiring. Good. And the uh, the big the big circuits like the uh, air conditioning and range are stranded aluminum, which is standard stuff. There's nothing nothing to report with the electric panel. In good shape. Okay. Um, walking around here, this is a photo cell for your lights in front of your garage, in front of the house. Oh, okay. Since there's no street lights in the neighborhood. I'm walking around the front. Now, here. how does that work? Hmm? How does that photo cell work? It detects the darkness. Okay, and then it turns and, it on and automatically? And it turns these lights on. Okay. Here, there's no street lights, so it's kind of like that Scotch day with the dark lighting, or with the lighting ordinances, oh. just down lighting. Nice. Uh, these are your building drains. That access the uh, you know for a clean out in case you have a plug. This is a uh, backflow preventing device okay. in case this so it prevents the city sewer from backing up into the house. Somewhere on this sewer line, it's uh, the city sewer is higher than the house is, so it prevents, uh, it prevents any any major disasters from happening to the house. I see. Um, coming around to the front door. Little minor adjustment item. The security door doesn't latch, but that can be fixed easily. Okay. Coming around into the garage, your water heater is a brand new 2012 unit. Beauty. Um, and right here, you can see. Some paint and some drywall texture bubbling up. I don't know if the camera can see this, but right here, there is a roof leak coming from above. Um, evidently, they are aware of it, and uh, you'll have to uh, uh, okay. have the uh, roofer come back. There was a roofer working on the place. There's some new flashing up on the up on the top, and the, uh -huh. the top of the roof appears to be in in uh, good condition. There is one area of concern that you'll have to monitor periodically. Okay. Uh, there's something called a dead valley up there. Mm. And I'm, I'll have a picture of it in the report. Okay. Um, the rest of the garage, there's an outlet back in here. So I have the door open here, you can see that. Okay. And it's on GFI and the master GFI for the house is in the, I will call this the south bathroom. Okay. All right. On this side. Okay. So one GFI runs all the bathrooms and the garage the exterior, and the exterior. The exterior, the garage, okay. and all the bathrooms on one G master GFI. Okay. Sprinklers. All right. Yes, this is the main shutoff to the house water. There's also a shutoff at the electric meter out by the street. Okay. This is a pressure reducer to control the water pressure. The water pressure is between 70 and 75 PSI, which is, That's awesome. which is good, good pressure. The air conditioners, you have, it's a split system. You have an uh, air conditioning condenser on this side of the house, an air conditioning condenser on the other side of the house, and two gas furnaces up in the attic. Mm. These are the original units. They're all, everything's made in 1997, okay. and uh, they worked great. Got good heat. You got cool air conditioning temperatures. Okay, the pool equipment. This is a diatomaceous earth filter, which is uh, in good condition. I'm going to suggest you have this gauge replaced and this air valve replaced. This is frozen. This is how you bleed air no. out of the filter. Okay. And you can see the lens is opaque on this, so you can't really, it's very difficult to read the pressure. Uh -huh. um, everything else worked. The pool controls here. You manually switch on the pool. The pump is working fine. This is a disconnect for the for the pump motor, as you can see. You turn the pump on, you flip that up. That's a master. 
See, the hinge is broken for the ground fault circuit interrupter for the uh, pool light and the oh, power. So okay. there are several broken outlets on the, or broken hinges on the outlets on the outside. Uh -huh. But that's just a simple re uh, replacement of this uh, cover right here. Okay. Pool light's working. Um, this unit is the heater. You can see the controls are opaque. I cannot read the controls. The gas is off right now. Uh, the unit did not respond, so I'm going to suggest to my, to my uh, uh, working of the controls, so I'm going to suggest you have a, a specialist look over this unit. It's a, good, it's a good thing to have done periodically, yearly, Yeah. as a matter of fact, um, just to make sure that that thing is in tip-top operating condition, and since it's gas, uh, make sure it's safe. Okay, the pool. This is your skimmer mm -hmm. basket right here and your automatic filler over there. The pool material, the pebble tank, the tile, the decking all look in good condition. The water feature is working just fine. The, uh, the pool is clean by suction and that's running around. I can't, it looks like it's doing a pretty good job, but it is, it is operating and running around. The pool light is functional. Good. So everything looks, everything looks good with the pool. Uh, when I walk around the house and I look at the foundation, I'm, I'm looking at the stem walls down here, which is the bottom part of your wall. You can only see about four or five inches of it. It looks uh, real good. There are some areas you, you, where you can see some cracking and, and uh, some stucco. They stuccoed it and it's coming off, but that's generally where the straps are that hold the house to the foundation. So everything looks normal with the, uh, with the structure of the, of the slab and the roof. Okay. Fireplace inside is a direct is what's called a direct vent, and this is the exhaust. Uh, you just want to make sure this is clear of bird's nest. It's a popular place for birds to build a nest, but it all looks really good. Also up here, uh, you've probably got several trees around the house. It looks like somebody's done a really good job of keeping them trimmed back. Mm -hmm. So keep doing that because um, you don't want the uh, trees and, and uh, vegetation rubbing on the on the finishes of the house. Drain for the for the sprinkler system that's inside the house, not the, not the lawn sprinkler system, but the but the uh, fire sprinkler system for oh, the house. Okay, everything looks good in there. Um, I am going to mention down there at the end on the wall, the drain is plugged. Ah, so you want to make sure that you keep all this area clear so any water can run out. Okay. Well, here's the other air conditioner. That one's that one's working fine. Okay, coming into the house now, this door handle for the slider is loose. Mm -hmm. I tried tightening it, yeah. but the screws are stripped. Okay. So basically, at Home Depot, you can get both sides of these handles and just replace it. It's a pretty, it's a pretty simple fix. Great. The fireplace, as you can see, is uh, the direct vent covered glass. And I will ignite it here. You should be able to see the flames and then the embers down below uh -huh. burning, so it is operating just fine. Good. The windows throughout the house look in good condition. Um, I look for any cloudiness to the windows that tell me of a uh, low E or a, or a failure in the seal mm -hmm. in the panes of glass. Some of the glass is not low E. Generally, these are called butt glaze windows. Mm -hmm. And these are normally just one single piece of glass. But everything looks good. In, everything looks in good condition. The kitchen. The range is working fine. Everything's working fine at the sinks, the faucet, the disposal, no leaks. Um, the dishwasher has run through a cycle and appears to be fine. The oven. I can get to turn on 
but the display does not work. Ah. So okay. it is rather difficult to get the oven. You have to, kind of have to go through a procedure of turning on bake, the upper oven, lower oven, bake, time. And I did get it to fire. It is working, but the display is, is out. Interesting. The cabinets, the countertops are all in good condition. All the drawers uh, open and close nicely. Mm -hmm. The rollouts come out nicely. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing to report in the kitchen other than the oven display. Okay. Uh, moving around to the living room. All the lights and fans, all the switches are operating, which is kind of unusual for a, a house. Usually you, you can't tell what some of the switches do. But all the fans are connected to switches in this house, and they all, they all come on. Good. Uh, the windows are good in here. All the outlets are nice and tight and working just fine. Okay. Master bedroom. No issues found. The door here is working fine and the windows are in good shape. Mm -hmm. Master bathroom. I do not believe there are any issues with the master bathroom other than in the bottom of the shower. Another item that's a maintenance item is, is the caulking on the bottom. These are cultured marble panels, uh, so, so typically there's wear. Usually the caulking lasts about six months, so it's something that you have to do a couple times a year, and this one needs it in several spots. Okay. okay. But the, uh, and you've got hot water on the correct side and all the uh, faucets. That's, and the a, tub. that's a part. The master closet, you've got a... Uh, You've got the security system control box up here, okay, which is a typical location for the security system. Okay. No issues with the cabinets or countertops. Thank you. Do. Moving around to the laundry. Um, the dryer is a gas dryer, so it, it's powered by 110 volts instead of the 220. Okay. Uh, everything's work appears to be fine in here. Your attic access here is in the laundry room. Um, the insulation, you've got a combination of vaulted ceilings and drop ceilings in the house. The insulation layer is actually in the bottom of the truss, which is not... Uh, just above this drop ceiling. So once you open this hatch, there's about a three foot area before you get to the insulation. You've got to take some of the insulation down to get up to where the furnaces are. Uh -huh. um, some of the areas, for example, on the garage side of the house, the top of the wall is not insulated. I'll have that. Uh, it's about a two foot section where it's missing insulation, but there is a there was actually a very good insulation job done on this house. It's just it's missing in a couple in a couple minor spots, but uh -huh. in general, the attic looks really good. The okay. furnaces are uh, in really clean condition. Good. And they're putting out good heat. Uh, now we're going towards the powder room side of the house. Nothing to report in here. Um, the fixtures are all in good shape. Faucets are in good shape. No leaks. Toilets are tight to the ground in all the bathrooms. Okay. Here's the uh, bath two. Good shape. The tub's in good shape. Sink's in good shape. Toilet's in good shape. And the uh, two bedrooms on this side of the house. This is more of an office. The bedroom mm -hmm. over here is in good shape. Nothing to report in here as well. So okay. Well, good. I think that'd be it, right? Now we'll go through some uh, pictures and see if I uh, see if I left out anything. But 